Local nonprofit is hosting a two week camp for young music composers who identify as female, trans or non binary. Eva Anderson is finding heart at the Wildflower Composers Festival that is making the performance space even more inclusive. As pianist Han Chien Lee plays each note, Clover Drake is taking note. She was able to imbue this inanimate object with like human like emotion. The 16-year-old composer, who identifies as non-binary, wants to create those same powerful feelings in their own compositions. I'm writing for piano, so I was just thinking a lot about what different techniques you can really use, like dynamic change and different arpeggios. Who wants to perform Clover's score? Clover is one of 16 participants, ages 13 through 19, in the Wildflower Composers Festival. During the two-week program, female, trans, and non-binary composers learn from other composers who identify similarly. Not feeling any judgment in this area makes it so easy to be creative. A recent report found in the 2023 to 2024 concert season, only 7.5 percent of the music played by global orchestras was composed by women. It's why executive director Aaron Bush created Wildflower Composers. Really stemming from my own experience growing up as usually the only girl in the space. Really just was longing for some peers and some community and mentors who, who looked like me. And so I wanted to create that space for the next generation. Now, young composers like Madeline Reed have people to look up to. They understand the struggles of being in a male-dominated space. Students apply with an essay and, if they have one, a composition they're working on. Like this piece Madeline wrote for cello. I'm now really looking forward to getting more of like the industry advice and getting commissions, actually being able to make it a reality. And by the end of the two weeks, Madeline will have her composition recorded and performed by professional musicians like Han Chien Lee. And those students get an amazing recording that they can also use to apply to college. And together, all of these students will compose a more inclusive future for the arts. If you would like to see their concert of world premieres, that takes place next Friday, July 19th at 2 p.m. at Rock Hall on Temple's campus. Reporting at Temple University, Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia.